do, it, sometimes it's easier drawing it to say it, and apologies to people who've already seen this. But what we're talking here, really, is quite different, and this is what I think Rebecca um, maybe didn't mention it, but the project is called User Centered Drug Services. And what we're trying to do is turn it around. So, what we're talking here is about service users. And obviously, service users have a relationship with sometimes just one, sometimes a few service providers. So, what we what we're doing with Exact is really giving it's, it's a drug and alcohol service users project for the whole of West Sussex. And the reason for that is up here you have the DAT, and the DAT gets the money from the government, and the DAT decides what money is going to be spent on. And what I do, I work for the DAC, but I, I've set up the EXACT project. And so EXACT is up here with a direct link into the DAC. And so what EXACT's been trying to do is build a, a community across the whole of West Sussex so that there's a direct link into the DAC so the DAC have got a much better idea and picture of what service users, users want and need. But also <coughs> to find out whether the service providers are doing what they should be doing. Because ultimately, it's not their money, it's your money. People are used to taking what they're given, basically, and not questioning it. Because quite often, at the point of need, you're like, I'll sign anything, yeah, I'll do anything, sort of thing. And, and actually, what we're saying is, let's try and look at that. So, exact covers the whole of West Sussex. It is independent, which is what Rebecca was talking about. And it is for service users. And service users, as we describe them, or anyone who is, has, or might in the future access drug and alcohol services. So that could be, with, with regards to exact, they don't have to be in a service, i.e. like a service user. It could also be people coming in who are on waiting lists. They're not a service user as such yet, because they're on a waiting list, but they can come with exact if they want. And also, from this angle, it can be ex-service users bringing their experience into exact as well and that's why it can't really sit within a service because if you if you think about a traditional service provider they may have a problem with these two groups actually coming into their service because they're not a service user as such so they can come into this independent one west sussex is a big old county so exact split up into six groups you can tell i've done this before now, can't you? <laughs> and so there's six different groups, I'm not going to do them all, but basically you've got Chichester, Horsham, I will do them all. Mid Sussex, which is like Hayley's Heath and Burgess Hill and stuff. Uh, Worthing, Craw Crawley, and one that we're going to talk about, which is actually in this area called Aaron. And the group is called Aaron Exact. Carly is the chair. Hello, Carly. <laughs> And Aaron has come on leaps and bounds. I think their first meeting was in around about January time, Vince, is that right? January sort of that time. And since that time, it was just a loose group of people getting together. And, you know, there's a few people here. And since that time, where are we? Just in June. Um, it's already a community organisation. And it's, um, it's got, a, you know, a bank account and a constitution, this, that and the other. And they're bidding for some money at the moment, Carly, for, for some local strategic partnership money. These council monies, which they can only go for as a group of services. So, Aaron Exact meets, how often? About once a month or so? Yeah. And I'm only doing this for Aaron, I'm not going to do it for the whole of West Sussex. But the idea is, in an ideal world, below Aaron Exact, then, you have service user reps coming from the service providers in Aaron. So, around here, there's a lot actually. You've got Adaption, who do the prescribing. You've got Stone Pillow, who do sands over the road there and a, and a day centre down the road. So, the idea is that these organisations, and part of my job is to make sure that they have some sort of service user involvement going on, and then they send reps to Aaron Exact. And then the Aaron Exact meet and talk about things going across the whole of the Aaron area, which includes Littlehampton. So one of the big things the Aaron Exact has been saying to, through this, going to the exact group up to the DAC, is that there's no services in Littlehampton. What about people who live in Littlehampton? So that's one big thing they're working on. 
the other bits and pieces, do you want to, anyone mention? There's, there's a project going on around um, the uh, Eastern European mm -hmm. street drinking um, in Bognor. There's all sorts of things. They talk about that there as well as what's going on in services. The idea is that Carly and the secretary of our exact, they go up and then there's a West Sussex exact group and then the chair and the secretary from all of these different groups all go to the West Sussex group, share information about what's going on in West Sussex. So there might be a problem in the area that someone at Stone Pillow has and they could go to that meeting and find out from someone in Worthing we had exactly the same problem, how it got resolved. So it's all about information sharing and raising mm -hmm. knowledge. But then the big thing that I'm really keen for the groups to do is that Exact always lets the DAT know what's going on so that they can commission services properly. But this is the, the other bit, because sometimes people say it's just a big moaning group, everyone sits around moaning, complaining. And it does. But what it also does is say, actually, do you know what? If no one can resolve any of these problems. So for instance, around aftercare, there's a big issue everywhere about aftercare. A big issue everywhere about outreach, all sorts of issues like that. What I am also going to do with Aaron Exact and all these other groups is help them again, if they want, to move on from being a community organisation to actually setting up as a social enterprise and becoming one of these service providers. Yeah. And in the end, it's a peer-led project. And what happens is people who are, who've got drug and alcohol problems will end up being knowing very clearly that they're being treated by people who've got drug and alcohol problems. And so actually, by <coughs> identifying the gaps and looking at what the problems and issues are, the group could end up filling the gaps itself. And so it's a positive outcome for, for everyone, really. And that is where we're at, really. That, that hasn't happened, but that's where we're looking at going. And hopefully, with um, the RSA's help, and we'll hear a bit more about what the ideas are later, <coughs> the Aaron Exact group can move on, start moving.